Hello friends, my name is Rage Panda one and today we have an absolute gaggle of mail. What the heck? 13? Look at all of this! Let's claim it all at once and see what the goods are. Some companion stones, a ton of intimacy stuff, we like it. And then also, our Valley of Conquerors finished, which I believe we got second, and we were personally ranked 12. Oh yeah, you know what those stones are going to. You know what those stones are going to. And even more companion summons. It is Christmas on Halloween. That reminds me of a movie I have seen in the past before. All right, well, since everything is going so, so smoothly, I am absolutely positive we are about to get a mythic male Devala. Don't believe me? Then watch. All right, so that was a lie. <laughs> but we did get two new legendaries that we didn't have before, and it's fine. It's fine. We'll pop off our singles. Hey, another copy of them. We like copies. We're gonna need all those copies eventually. Anyway, and our 28 summons here. Good stuff, good stuff. A little Tide Storm action in there. A little Griffin. I do want to get the Griffin, but I don't want to work hard to get the Griffin, you know? Wonderful. That leaves us with 46 of our heart boxes. Between that and our 20 intimacy preference chests, we could basically get any companion that we want at this point, since I think most of the rest of them that I can buy from those things are only 48. And we're starting to get quite a bit of each individually. We do have 19 for the Devala clan. It's going to take him coming back around a couple of times for me to actually get that. But hopefully by the next time they come around, I'll have saved up enough. We'll see. You can see we also have quite a few intimacy items to spend. And I do like that. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, that griffin that we wanted to uh, make friends with, if you know, if you if you catch what I'm throwing at you, uh, do a little uh, speed dating, maybe see where the relationship goes. We ju we just got her just by grabbing the parts randomly. I told you, it's a good day, guys. It is a good day. So of course, when you meet a new girl and you start dating, the first thing that you have to do is. And there's going to be a lot of that because she is a one star. Eventually, she's going to end up being taken to Mythic because of districts. But that is not going to be soon. That makes for all three in this section, and that is very good for us. Now, every time that I actually get a new companion, I like to spend some Vigor Potions and, you know, go with the motion of the ocean as many times as possible. Start a little, a little party. Uh, party in the pants? Uh, pants party? That way I can get them leveled up as high as possible. And it's always good to do that when you get a fresh companion, rather than when you're about to get a fresh companion. However, we could be deciding that we want yet another companion, and that's a good thing to do. Because when you have the companions, even if they are green to you, you're going to be getting more ascension materials. So we have a choice to make, and first we need to figure out how many we actually have of each of these. We said 20 and 46, which will be 23, giving us a total of 43, which means that I think we can get two companions right now for a total of three in this video. I just, I, I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but I'm something of a ladies man. Uh, I'm kind of a big deal. My apartment smells like rich mahogany. I have, I have a lot of leather bound books. So the people that I actually wanted to get are the Tidestorm Companion, and I almost got bamboozled. I almost got bamboozled. This is not the Karguk Companion. This is the Ugril Companion, you little cheeky monkey. This is the one that is the Karguk Companion. So can we actually afford that? I don't think so. We need 28 for her, and we need 27 for her. A little bit out of our range. Now, one of the really great things about if I had every companion already, one of the really great things about that is that when I'm doing Dungeon Descent, I'm essentially doing that so I can get great deals on intimacy items. And I will be able to use all of those companion chests to just be getting intimacy. And we are pretty close to having all of these companions. So that's pretty, uh, pretty sweet, I guess. I'm hurting for tank ascension materials right now, so I think I'm going to pick up the Karguk immediately. And then we'll get the Tide Storm in time. The reason that I want the Tide Storm in the first place is to get her Mythic, but she's not next on the list 
to get mythic so it's not as big of a rush and we're not using any hunters until we have a male tide storm of value i know that it's fairly obvious for most of these companions who they belong to but i do think that it should say somewhere in this little icon which clan they actually belong to because that would be a little bit easier for a couple of these and there we have it we have 48 for her it's time to make a new a new wife are we polygamists what have we done that is a crime in my country <laughs> Ta -da. so then of course we court right away but our air slots are full how could you do this to me? Come to me, my darling. Oh my god, that looks like the Grinch. <laughs> Great, now my kid is gonna go steal Christmas and cause a bunch of problems for people. So we could grab ourselves 16 of basically anybody that we want to get from the original set of ladies, which means we could get the Ugral, which I eventually want to get to Mythic for the clan trait. It's not the most useful, but it is useful. A lot of people like to get Doombringer for the Lionheart. I don't think so. I think there are better options in basically every circumstance. If you were going to put Lionheart on, I think you may as well be putting on Aggressive, but that's just my two cents on the matter. If I spend these materials now, I'm going to end up getting the Ugral, and we need to think about what that accomplishes for us. Well, basically, it's going to give us a bunch of warrior materials for ascension over time. You know, we're not going to be putting any bouquets into her. We're not going to be putting any energy potions into the children that come out. But if we start it now, there could be a new class of person coming out that's going to be wildly overpowered. And they are a warrior. And we're going to want to be able to upgrade them right away. So... I think there's value in starting to collect those already, especially since I'm not collecting any of these other ones for any urgent use. I think it's going to be fine. Dungeon Descent is going to finish off the rest of our people in due time. To heck with it. Pardon, pardon my French. To heck with it. Now listen, the thing what you gotta understand about the green girls is they're feisty. And the feisty ones, them's the ones you want. And of course... When we get our fresh companion, we go over to our radio and put on a song like I know, I know, I should put a mature rating on this video. Well, how am I going to tell these kids apart? Come on, now they look exactly like each other. Couple of Grinches. Let me see this. Is there any distinguishing features? There are not. Well, that's, that's fine. I would have liked maybe a different hair color or something, but what are you going to do? So our harem has grown considerably, and because of that, we are going to carouse with all of our vigor potions, and we're just going to see what it do. All right, I have a hot tip for the developers. If you're watching this, this carouse button here to do the vigor potion, please put the confirm button right on top of it so that I can just confirm and hit carouse again and then tap there and tap there and then, oh, you gotta move. Now you gotta go up here. It's just a minor thing, but oh, it is, it's a bit of a buzzkill, you know? And this is party time. This is, party rock is in the club tonight, you know? So let's, let's make that a little easier. And here's a little steamy morsel for you if you're ever carousing the night away as I have just done. I like to save three Vigor Potions, because sometimes I get behind on my little questy doos My little questy doos down here, and a lot of times they will tell you to carouse with your ladies, and I want to have an extra one so I don't have to wait for that to come back. That's what I do. I don't know. I don't know how you roll. Now look at this. We got six million of the uh, charisma. Nice. <laughs> We got some mojo and we have quite the levels to be putting in here So first we're gonna just make sure that this matches up with everybody else And we're gonna get this around the same cost as the others and then we are going to be spending a lot in Upgrading literally every one of these companions that we have so there you go. That's pretty huge We've spent just so much charisma. All right, we have our market district actually maxed out on levels, believe it or not. We have our harbor district almost to level 10, and we're getting 106k a minute after all of the little changes that we've just made. So to top it all off, we are spending all of our diamonds still on these Devala companions because I want to. I'm not sure that it's the best thing that I could be doing for my account, 
but I want to. And it's a game that's about fun, so you should do what you want. That being said, I'm not going to do any of the single summons because that is inefficient, and I don't want to be inefficient. Hey, a couple more male copies and one for the female. Now that's good. Even though those are low quality copies, they are copies and that's what we are looking for. Still not enough to make the male useful, but I think I might be able to actually squeak by and make the female fit onto my current team. I mean, I'm not going to be able to take her far after that, but I just don't care. You know, I like them. We want to use them. And we just got free copies of each for doing a whole ton of summons. So that's going to do it for this video. We were just here to meet some ladies. If this video entertained you at all, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do like having you around. And thank you for watching this video. I have been Rage Panda one I will see you in the next one.